Hey guys, so um, recently I've been working with Cloud Code a lot. You know, uh, basically um, just um, use Cloud Code to do everything in my project. And I just discovered that you can integrate this GLM 4.5 models into Cloud Code. Um, so I want to show you guys how to do it step by steps. And uh, and I also I will show you guys a very specific examples how to um, test its performance. And um, as you can see, GLM is a very powerful model. I mean, especially it's version four point five. Um, this model was built by a company called ZAI, aka Zhipu. And um, all you need to do is. Um, Go to their documentations website and um, follow those instructions. So um, basically, uh, you have to install this cloud code first, and then um, you can uh, go to their dashboard, all their consoles get API keys, and um, use these configured environment variables. And if you first time users, you can use it, just copy it and paste it. And um, for me, I just suggest to use the menu configurations. So um, all I need to do is just copy it and paste it over here. And um, I will go to the console and copy my API keys over there. Um, but make sure this is do not share your API key to anyone else. You know, I will delete it after this videos. And then you will, uh, you can initiate the cloud code, just type cloud. Boop. See, um, you are, in this case, you are overriding this um, open big model CN API Anthropic and override this to the cloud code. So um, in case you are not sure, um, you can just try to um, slash status to see which model you're using. I mean, um, you can see here, right now I'm using GLM 4.5. So yes, it's correct. So um, it is, uh, GLM 4.5, it is integrating with Cloud Code right now. And also, uh, if you uh, have already, um, if you are already a Cloud Code users, uh, you probably need to log out first and then to manually explore this environment. And um, why I'm doing this is because um, sometimes GLM 4.5 is a performance better in some, some use case, and it's, it is much more cheaper for uh, heavy users like me. Uh, because you know, I I just don't want to pay like two two hundred dollars per month or two thousand dollars per month for like extra credit tokens, you know. And sometimes um, cloud opus four and four point four point one, um, their performance are not very stable recently. So um, as you can see, you can use this method to integrate the GRM, GRM models, and also uh, you can also use it this method to any other models you want like for example, like Kimi K2 or other stuff. And also um, if you are not, you, you know, if you don't like it, if you don't want to um, use this, um, use the AI's model, you, you know, you can also um, self host GOM in your servers. Uh, if you have a lot of graphic cards in case. And um, uh, now it's the uh, testing phrase. So as you can see, um, I'm working with my um, app right now and this is um, my project it's called Futures AI it's basically um, it's image uh, AI image to editing apps so you can just um, add any other filters to the photos you have so in this case um, I create a new filter called bus cut filters it basically is um, you enter a prompt and you can give the following persons a bus cut, right? In this case, you can see it's before and after. So um, my my pain point is I want to make a new style front end page exactly like this. Okay, so I want to make, let's say I want to make some like bus cut 
filter um, tutorial, uh, Pascal filter page. But I want to make sure this page's layout or this UI UX are identical to other style page. So uh, what should I do, right? In this case, I've already prepared the context. So um, so let's just try it with GRM 4.5 with Cloud Code to see how it performs, okay? And um, in this case, I um, already so let's let's click continue and let's just see, you know, um, usually when I'm making my project, you know, this is just a front end project, I will do something like SOP um, documents. This is as this SOP is specifically for um, AI. So I will let the AIs to read this SOP and follow the instruction step by step. And it usually works very well. So um, in my examples, I will just let the call code to follow this instruction step by step and create a new bus cut filter landing page. And also I prepare those contacts and I will let it to use the contacts below. Mm -hmm. And let's see, hit enter. See, um, it is reading my instructions here and it was doing here step by step. You can see my first instruction is create some uh, directory structures. You know, and it's it has a specific you follow specific UI instructions, and in this case, I believe it's styles slash bus cut filter, and then um, I will let them to create this page TSX and follow these instructions. Like you can see, this has feel like very clear stress sections like heroes gallery process FAQ. So this is basically very simple uh, sections for AI front end page. So you can see it is running backwards. And then um, this in this instruction, I will let this AI to you know, create a layout and also I like others SEOs, um, keywords, title and meta descriptions. Mm -hmm. And see, let's see how it goes. Usually it would take like a few seconds because it, it is processing my it is processing my informations because I gave him a lot examples and the context. Um and um for some users if you were uh, I mean if you from like American or European country, you can use the AI in these documentations and you can use their, you know, their API keys. This is basically for the, for the West users, I believe. But, um, if you're from like Asians, if you're from Asia, so like uh, Singapore and China, you can use this website, you know, bigmodel.cn, you know, because they have, I think they're basically the same company, but use different you know, price options for a different area. And, you know, this, these consoles are for the like RMB, RMB users. And this console is for, um, if you want to pay with us dollars. Okay. Yeah. And let's go back. It says, do you want to create page? And I think it's already created. Yes. Allowed all sections and it is all writing all those, um, pages informations here right you, you, you know the, the things I really like about the cloud code is um, you don't need to like you know they, sometimes they don't ask permissions you, you, you don't have to like like click every time to click agree click accept you know it just automatically following instructions step by step but but if this is the, if I use the same instructions on cursor, you know, I have to like keep click accept, you know, you know, manually and it's just not very comfortable. But when I was using cloud code, I have to, you know, you, you, you can run it like when you go away, you know, grab a coffee or 
get some hot tea and go back here and you'll find your AI just done your job. Hmm. And now it's asking me to build it, but no, I don't think so. I can do it on you know, my you know manually. So I just, just open a new new terminal. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So clearly it have pay, created a page. Um Let's see, uh, so I'm running on localhost, so it is a uh, page I'm talking about, and now, now it has created this buzzcut filter page, see? It has a hero page, and it is the buzzcut filters, and um, the following instruction, why choose buzzcut filters, and this is a gallery to show how the example works, this is a, uh, uh, yep, and how it works and faq right um but no uh i think i think you know this is a final try filter mode sections you can see you can go back to here to go into my app um but they are not oh speaking of styles but they are probably choosing your wrong styles because um uh because they are not using the styles i'm working with so um maybe i will just ask him to just modify a little bit just um choose the three yeah and they give them this uh, let's see how it goes Yes, so now I'm asking him to um, choose the related style sections existing in my project. See, now, yep, yeah, it was just fine. And you can now click to this other styles. It's AI baby filters turning to your uh, images to adorable baby face. So um yeah I mean that's it. Uh, I I mean I'm I was surprised because it work it works very great and it's I think it can use it right now. You know I don't have to you know maybe I will edit this image size you know make it larger or um make it larger probably you know in gallery sections. Also, um, let's check how it goes with SEO. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, it it also helped me modify this SEO page. You know, it has clear titles, descriptions, and um, it also creates a Twitter card. See, and the image is the bus card examples. Okay. okay, let's go back. Yep. It did. It did make the image larger so the people can users so users can see it. Yep, and um, I think I think that that is all. You know, as long as it's you give him the specific SOP, and it will add the finals pages you want, and it will, and it you can see in my examples, I just you know it created the page like just in ten seconds. It's very powerful and useful, and it clearly it follow my instructions. So um yeah I think that's that's it. Um so um if you want to um add in more features for example uh, maybe it says in this documentations um it give you a uh, lots of examples about how this GI model can achieve and also um you can change its EMV here to to switch to specific models. 
I mean, for example, you can go to this, you can go to the cloud, you can go to the documentations and um, adding this new page. Um, yes, just change this cloud setting JSONs and just add this um, entropic models into the GRM 4.5. It will, uh, it will uh, change it to GRM 4.5. And sometimes uh, in some use case, it will, um, it will switch to the small fast models, but um, in my use case, I suggest you guys just go to the settings and change them all to the identical to GM 4.5. That would make a better performance. Okay. And um, yeah, I think that is today's tutorial. And I will um, also uh, write a blog about how you can implement it and give you guys some tips about using this um, GRM 4.5 in cloud code. And um, if you guys have any other um, suggestions or any other model you want to see, um, feel free to comment in my videos.